Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Today, I'm going shopping for groceries. Something I haven't been able to do since I got to Southeast Asia. Now that I have a kitchen, I'm going to take full advantage of that. I've been asking around where the best place to get stuff is. Um, there are some local grocery stores, a lot of Western products in them, which are great. I'm good today, thank you. And um, so yeah, they've got a lot of Western products in there, but I'm not looking for Western food because I don't live in the West any longer. So um, I'm looking for more of the local stuff. And so I was informed that the best place to go is the old market. And when I was here the last time, I was under the impression that the old market was a bit of a, a tourist stop a little bit of a tourist trap and you know a lot of stuff there for tourists which it is there the outside ring and the outside edge is geared towards them but when you go into the inside is where all the locals go shopping so i didn't know because i was in there too late the last time there's a bunch of food vendors in there so that's what we're on to today we're going to go take a gander and see what we can get into now today we're going to strap you this camera to my chest I have, as you can see, a mount attached to me. So this camera will attach in. I'll be hands-free. You'll have both of my hands. So fingers crossed it works the way it's supposed to. <laughs> fingers crossed, as I said. Ah. This one? It's curry. How much? A mock. A Oh, nice. Okay. How much? One kilo, two dollars. Oh. I couldn't use a kilo. Um, oh, that one's nicer. Very limited. Um, uh, quarter kilo? You said one kilo for $2? Uh, can I get $1 worth? You only, you only sell you only sell by kilo? Yes. Um, Oh no no! I was just asking for half kilo. Half kilo, okay. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't asking for a cheaper price. <laughs> yeah, no, the price is no, the price was good. I had no problem with. <laughs> I just can't cook that much. <laughs> and is this red? This also curry. Yes. Okay, I'll try that next time. Oh, that's a, a curry. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, so curry's a lot. Hello. Okay. Garlic? Ginger? Okay. Carrot. Onion. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yes. Yep. Um, and mustard green. You have uh, this one. Uh, what? Don't recognize. <laughs> I'll try some. Yeah. Oh, that's coriander. Okay. Yep. Perfect. And then uh, underneath it's right here. A little bit more. Up. Yeah, that's okay. I'll take. I'll take. Okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm? Oh, it's not that. It's just all my things are small bills right now. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh. I have to get used to the color. So good. So that would be just under two dollars. Well, thank you. Uh, is it a kun? Is that right? A kun. Okay. Just making sure. A kun. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Uh, this, I think that piece. How much? Five dollars. Okay, I need smaller. It's just for me for one day. <laughs> um, I, I like the fat. Um, second. Did they do half? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thirteen thousand real. Thirteen thousand. Okay. Okay. That's thirteen, right? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, so I got a huge bag for five bucks so far. I want to get some eggs. Ah. How much are eggs? Uh, are these these are fresh? That's not like they're, they're so fresh. raw. Okay. I need a chicken or that. Okay, chicken. I think these are chicken, right? Yeah. How much for six? Uh, six, uh, three thousand real. Okay. Yeah. And how much are the duck? Duck, uh, six, uh, three thousand and five hundred. Okay. You need the duck or? I've never tried duck. I'll do duck. I've never tried so yeah. something different. Is it three thousand five hundred? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So that is two thousand. So six eggs, stuck egg for three thousand five hundred, which is under a dollar. Almost eighty cents. Yes, so. Okay. So three thousand. Yeah. Five hundred. Yeah. A coin. A coin. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we got them. Thank okay. you. Hello, sir. Hello. Do you like mango? I do, but I also like banana. How much are one one one? Just one, yeah. Yes, three thousand real. Three thousand? Okay. Yeah. You like mango? I do. How much are they? One kilo, one dollar. Ooh, okay. I will do one kilo. Yeah. Two piece, two one kilo, okay.
บันทีบันเซาสันเดียนยูไลท์วอเตอร์มิลอนไฮเดพอล I'm good for that today yeah วอเตอร์มิลอนไอแฮดคอมไปยาไอแฮดเบนดิมิดนิชแฮม I will yeah this is it it's only me so I can only eat so much food in a day I appreciate thank you excellent yes And how is, uh, you have the tomatoes too? These are to, are these tomato? Okay. And are these a mushroom? I've never seen mushroom like that before. They're small. They look good. I. No, I'm just. As you can see, I'm trying today. <laughs> There is so much to choose from, though. Thank you. Okay, so I think I got out of there for about seven bucks. So I got probably three or four days worth of food here for six or seven bucks. Uh, yeah, that was a little bit crazy, but fun. What? So. What was that? Not even two dollars for all those bananas and mango. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> It's like a a water jug. Oh, like water jug, but plastic. Plastic, yeah. I haven't seen anything like it here yet. Okay, I appreciate. Oh, that could do. Yeah, how much are those? I will take one. I actually, I will take two. Yeah, two. B B. She picked my favorite color. Good. <laughs> They're all good. Color doesn't matter to me. Uh, blue and pink is perfect. Yeah. That would be three dollar, right? So four thousand. Do I have here? Ten. Thank you. Thank you, Akun. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll try to get out of here without dropping anything. Okay. I'm good, thank you. Well, that was that was a ton of fun. Uh, I thought I was going to get more overwhelmed than I did, but I think I was we were good. It's just a absolute assault on sensors when you go and do that kind of thing. But so much fun! I've always, always wanted to go shopping and do that at a market. I'm sure I could have haggled and bartered and stuff, but to be honest. The prices did not seem unreasonable, <laughs> at least not to me. So, if there was a little bit of tourist tax added on, I have no issues with it. Um, but yeah, holy cow! So that curry that I got, um, I, what I didn't mention was that the the bag was warm. So it's like the she actually made that today, and it was still hot. Uh, I've never tried duck eggs. So I'm looking forward to those. But yeah, everything was just—it was exactly what I wanted. Like super fresh. Um, I'm trying out the meat. I have uh, heard mixed. It's like, oh, you should or you shouldn't. Um, but it looks really fresh. Like even just watching her handle it. Like I've worked in kitchens for years, so I know what fresh meat smells and looks like. And there was no funk, no nothing. Also, didn't see. Bunch of bugs around it, so 
that makes me comfortable. Um, one of the things you have to do is like you'll buy a chunk of meat like that and then it's up to you to cut it down to turn like into ground pork or strips or whatever you want to do with it. So that's why I was looking for a more fatty piece. Because when I cook, I don't like to add fat to it if I don't have to. So I will uh, try to get meat that has it a little bit so that when I cook it renders the fat out. So anyway, I'm gonna head back home. I'll bring you guys along as we get back and show you the uh, the breakdown of everything. Excuse the echo. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in my apartment. So uh, mustard greens. Uh, this is like a celery. Um, I've had this in a soup. Some cilantro or parsley. It smells like cilantro. Green onions, chilies, onion. Uh, sorry, onion, uh, carrot, garlic, and some ginger. That was just under two bucks. So that was amazing. And I have over here the six duck eggs that you can tell are farm fresh because they are here. the joy of doing one handed stuff. So, but yeah, I mean, these are, they're dirty, which is exactly what you want from an egg and they're still warm. They're delightful. Uh, here is the bag of hot, and I don't mean spicy hot, but it's just a uh, curry. Uh, the lemon smell coming off of this is just insane. It, it's one of the most delicious smelling curries I've ever run across. Um, here's the chunk of pork I got. I would say that's a good two and a half, maybe three pounds, two pounds at least. Um, super fresh. Really fresh pork. Um, then over here, I got myself my little finger bananas. Oh, these are one of my favorite bananas I've ever had. And then, of course, two stupid fresh mangoes. Oh my god, they smell so good. Um, yeah. And these are some odds and ends. So, here's my cutting board. I'll show you guys what we got. I got a nice little cutting board down here. It's round, the knife. That was seven bucks for the pair. And then I got over here. Uh, this is just a one gas burner that came with the unit. I picked up just a, a wok with a wooden spatula. That was 14 for the pair. And up here I've got assorted teas and coffees and noodles and chopsticks and a plate, a bowl, plate, a bowl, coffee cup. And then in here I have Spoons, the little soup spoons, and then the some odds and ends. But uh, then I also grabbed these yeah. little water pitchers. So I'm going to put one in the fridge with water, and the other one I'm going to make an iced tea, or I might just do one iced coffee, one iced tea. Um, so I've got like here, this is coffee, a ground coffee. Um, the coffee maker is kind of wild. I'll show you guys here. I'll set it up real quick. I'm going to make one of these here in a little bit, but okay. So what you have is you put that unit there and then you put your coffee there. You put your coffee in your grounds, pour your water, put that down and then you just let it percolate and you get coffee. Um, it's just like a drip process. It works really good. Um, but I also made a cold coffee overnight. So I just put the coffee grounds and some water in the fridge overnight. And then I just poured it out and it was really good. So I think this coffee is perfect for making iced coffee. Um, this is some jasmine tea that I picked up. The coffee, this bag was two bucks and it's organic. Uh, this thing of jasmine tea was a dollar. And then this is a local tea. Bayon tea. And that was 60 cents. So that's going to be my next one. Uh, raw sugar was, I think it's like a dollar for that bag. So yeah, it's not very, it's not terribly expensive here. Um, you can make it work. Uh, you can go pretty frugal if you are so inclined. Um, but I'm, whoa, that's blowing you guys out. Yeah, I really enjoy 
uh, my time here in Siem Reap so far. First grocery excursion. Um, I will be putting out cooking videos uh, just to kind of show what it's like to be a Western cook using local ingredients and see what I can come up with. But I hope you guys didn't mind the grocery haul. Um, something different, for me at least. I really enjoyed that. Um, if you do like my content, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. I think I got all the things and I really hate saying that. Uh, but what I do like saying is if you are still here and you like my content, there'll be a link over here to another video. Anyway, thanks for coming along with me today. I'll see you guys on our next one. Take care, buddy. Bye.